welcome back. Um, got another journal to share with you guys today. Um, sometime back, I sh think I showed everybody I'd been working on some of these uh, fabric journals. This is Tim Holtz uh, fabric that I purchased. And um, I've just gotten around to completing another one, so I thought I'd share you with you quickly uh, a flip through. Um, these are six by nine inch journals. Um, can't re recall right off how many pages, but that'll, you know, if you are interested, that'll be in the um, description with the link below. But um, so my covers I've constructed, I've got um, craft paper as the base, and then I've covered it with um, cotton wadding, <clears throat> and then the fabric, and then I've come along and done some stitching. I've then layered and collaged with um, some papers that I've run through the embossing folder, um, some of the images from Tim Holtz, <clears throat> excuse me, and then some uh, trims and buttons, um, and then even some die cuts on this, and then I've got um, one of the metal uh, quotes there. So that says, reality has limits, Image imagination is boundless. And then I've secured that with some brad, so that, you know, hopefully you can see it's got a lot, a lot of texture going on. Um, I've got some sorry silk closure on this one. Um, yeah, I've ordered some sorry silk um, in, and the natural color I'm really, really short on, so I've got to find a supplier here in the UK that I can get that off of, because the other stuff I've purchased is all dyed and they didn't coordinate nicely with this. So, um, yeah, if anybody's got anybody that they know here, you know, in the UK, I can get that off of, because I'm it's too expensive for me to ship it from the US with customs. So anyway, sorry, I digressed again. Um, Okay, this is the front cover. Um, I've recently got some of these um, postcards. Uh, I don't know. They're vintage for sure, but I don't know the date on those. And then this is a um, vintage postcard. It's got the uh, stamp. Um, this was 1911, so what's that, what that's stamped in there. And uh, the papers in this journal are Tim Holtz. Oh yeah, this is some extra paper, coffee dyed paper. Um, the papers I've used in here are um, Tim Holtz and uh, is it uh, just one second, let me see. It's 49th and Market. So I thought those really coordinated nicely. So Various things in here. I've got some big pockets, some small pockets, vintage buttons. This has been um, decoupaged on a giant playing card, and then I've backed it with more tea dyed paper. Um, Edith Holden, various books. I've got pages from Cookbook and her Nature Notes, um, and then the Diary of the Edwardian Lady. Um, just various things on this. Um, I've kept it fairly simple. This is vintage um, horticulture book. Um, some more ribbon. This is fabric ribbon. I've kept this fairly simple. Um, this, you know, is a writing journal, so whoever purchases it can add more embellishments if they want. But if not, there's there's lots of space here for writing. Um, this is another big pocket here with one of the um, regal folded up papers that's uh, tea dyed. That's a tea dyed one. Here's another little pocket, vintage book page. This is some of the Tim Holtz wallpaper sample. Got tracing paper. Um, here I've just tucked some vintage um, book page with another little. Um, image. I can't remember where those images were from. Um, it's been so long since I've had them. Um, this is, I've never seen a postcard this big, and this was in the collection I've recently acquired. Um, 
So that's been included. I thought that was really cool. There's, I've got quite a few of those. I've just never seen any that, that size before. Here I've just um, put that along the edges. Those are all vintage tags. Some various um, scrapbooking papers. Uh oh, got a little bit of glue there. I'll have to come back and get that off. This is a um, vintage um, from a vintage book. That's not photocopied, that's the actual book page. And this is another double pocket. <clears throat> In fact, just one second, let me pull this tag. That's a double pocket there. Um, I'll leave that in there. And some more um, digital printout paper, more of the Edith Holden, um, some more uh, tuck spots. This is a coin envelope, another of the little vintage uh, images, journal card. Um, this one's got a coloring book page, and then I've backed this uh, journal card with some uh, coffee dyed paper, and then this is just another journal card out of the Tim Holtz paper. Oh, sorry, I'm all thumbs today. I don't know. Oh, I've got glue stuck all over me. That uh, Fabri-Tac, oh, that stuff is, it's amazing glue, but you wear it for the next week. <laughs> so I've got to get me a little brush to try to be able to scrub that off because it's terrible. Um, here's another little pocket I've made. I've included a vintage playing card. This is just another uh, book page. Vintage. I love the coloring of that. That's just gorgeous. Stitching um, throughout the journal. Here's another of the Edith Holden vintage uh, doily. Another little book page. It's been coffee dyed. I've got quite a bit of this Tim Holtz paper. I'm trying to, um, as you guys know, clear out my stash. This is another little book, couple of book pages. So I, um, I've got to press on with, with getting some more of these done. Like I said, I've got, gosh, I don't know, so many journals on the go at the moment. Um, this is a couple of other, um, Vintage book pages. Here's an alteration tag. Um, another uh, vintage playing card. And then this is another uh, book page. I've got some music sheet, more digital paper, some more book page, Edith Holden paper. And this is the Tim Holtz. And in the back, I've just included uh, a big sheet of this ledger paper and this postcard. So, there she is. I will put the um, specifics in the uh, listing below. Um, I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. Uh, let me know what you got planned, and uh, hopefully everybody will have time to do some crafting. Um, so you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you here soon. Bye!